Like Komia said, the doors leading outside opened with no problem. I continued toward the fountain. I thought I was going pretty fast, all things considered, but it didn't seem like I could catch up with Ayana. After a few more steps, I emerged at the fountain, illuminated in an almost divine looking light. I could spot three other silhouettes there. Is Ayana there too? The same place I got assaulted by someone and lost consciousness. Komia! What? Oh, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Ah! Uh, Itsuki pressing a knife against Komia's throat and Ayana kneeling on the ground next to him. Dude, what the fuck is going on? Itsuki was staring at Ayana with cold eyes, but when he noticed I was there, he shifted his gaze to me. Yeah, but she's safe. He addressed me in an emotionless tone. I just let her out of my eyes for a second, and... Actually, what the hell's going on here? Let Komiya go! I tried taking a step close to them, but Itsuki just pressed the knife harder against her in response. I had no choice but to stop. これから格差ず話してもらわなきゃいけないことがいろいろあるし、俺が見逃しても、どの道も助からない。それに言っただろ。これは復讐なんだよ。この件に関わっている以上、小宮さんもその対象だ。I had no idea what he was talking about. What else did she say? You know, don't you? Ayana addressed him in an unstable, desperate tone. That fucking creepy ass smile on his motherfucking bloodstained face. But Itsuki only pressed the knife against Komiya harder as a result. None. Komiya answered him. I was wondering why she wasn't resisting more, but now that I took a closer look, I noticed that her right arm was all covered in blood. Oh, oh shit, what? He cut her before? Oh, you motherfucker! Maybe that blood all over the corridors was Komiya's. What happened over the time that we were separated? Why does it matter so much what our parents do? I mean, I guess it's connected to everything, right? That's why? As I got sidetracked by my thoughts, Itsuki continued. From the way he phrased it and his tone, it sounded like as though he was trying to confirm something he already knew. What? She can control memories? Medicine that control... What? Medicine that can control memories. How the fuck? Medicine that can control memories? And it's, let me guess, it's something that Ayana and I myself have taken in the past, which is why we don't remember the, our childhood in a sense, right? The hell? Oh, but wait. How would explain why all of our memories were messed up? Really? So then the reason I wasn't as affected by the same sides was because this medicine had different effect on different people? Yeah, but things is obviously a bit different when you hold a fucking knife to a person's throat. What? 
our parents were doing the same thing? Erased? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Failures? What? Our own parents were testing something on us? What? Okay, that could make sense. There was a line crossing my, Ayana's, and Sumika's names. Okay. So then I kinda of, remember what Itsuki kinda of says that everything was sort of predetermined for us? It kinda of seems that way, right? That whoever the hell gave us these medicine, which is probably Ryo's mother, actually also made sure that we ended up at the school. Cause somehow the the medicine and whatever the hell I don't know if she's like if that medicine is like from a specific corporation or whatever, you know? But it, it seems to be connected to the school somehow though. And that's us? So Omotesatani Dekinaikara Jibun Tachino Kodomoya Kankesha no Mutino Kodomaga Shiken Taisho ni Naru Kimari ni Natte Dakara Nanimo Nai Toshimo Arida Shikeda they're actually what we we're actually being used as test subjects i, I was kind of kidding with that one was that why a mere mention of my parents was taboo in my house i was thinking about the same thing even if she was a part of the experiments and that was the reason why she was killed her name was still in the old registry it's possible the record could have been falsified, but that file looked genuinely old, and it made no sense to try and falsify something that was hidden anyway. Well, yeah. Of course, I fucking saw that she was dead. We nodded. Did you do it? Self-defense? They both killed her? I mean, Itsuki's probably the one that stabbed her or whatever, but it seems that Ryo was there. I had reservations about taking the word of someone with a knife at her throat. Besides, I had trouble believing Komiya would have agreed to anything like that, even if Sumika had gone completely mad. Who did that to your hand? Itsuki gave me a derisive look, as though mocking me for not getting it even at this point. I guess Sumika attacked Ryo? I could feel my blood starting to slowly boil, seeing someone who I thought as a friend act like this. Hidoi. Oh my god, look at his fucking eyes! What the fuck, dude? Itsuki's tone changed. Yeah, but we were five or something, okay? That's entirely different. <laughs> Ayana flinched at his cold words. And by the way, just because somebody else did something wrong doesn't excuse your own actions of doing the exact, exact same fucking thing. So, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore, even though we got some answers. She said so in a resigned tone. Ayana killed her own parents. That seemed to be a fact. I didn't remember anything of the sort. But she said I was there too. Then why couldn't I remember? I felt my anger and anxiety melt together. I wanted to make things clear. I couldn't take this anymore. Komiya. Nani. Does that medicine erase the memories for good? 
綾菜を見てもわかるようにきっかけさえあれば呼び出されてしまう Okay Mm -hmm. But the main goal of the whole thing is to suppress them perfectly, right? So, Because it seemed to have worked perfectly on me. No, I, I was just thinking that this medicine was all sorts of messed up. Both of it worked perfectly or not. I mean, just the whole existence of the medicine in the first place. To s suppress memories? I don't feel like that's something that medicine should do. Memories might disappear, but facts would not. Indeed, even if memories disappear, the event still fucking happened, okay? There's still other clues out there that would point to that thing happening, even if everybody involved would not remember it. Did they think it was okay to forget the deaths or even existences of your loved ones just because it caused a little bit of stress? I couldn't empathize with that kind of thinking. Itsuki. Well, it can be Komia or Ayana too. But if you know what this trigger might be, could you try doing it on me? Well, somebody has to fucking die, right? That's the trigger. Huh. So, Itsuki, would you mind stabbing yourself? Thank you very much. Itsuki narrowed his eyes, his eyes, puzzled. If that medicine is making me forget something, I don't want it. I prefer to have all the information at my disposal. I want to know. I want to remember. Ayana silently uttered my name. We spent our childhoods together, and for as long as I could remember, I felt like I had to protect her. But now I lack the information to do so. I don't know. I don't feel emotions apparently, okay? I'm a fucking robot. Komiya gave me a scrutinizing look. Maybe I got double the dosage. I don't fucking know. Maybe I got two pills instead of one. I'm not calm. I just want to solve this mess already. Itsuki nodded to himself and suddenly released Komiya from his hands. What? He just released her? Komiya seemed to be as confused as I was. Please don't come after me. Please don't come after me, you crazy fucking lunatic. He's gonna lunge at me with the knife, right? He stepped toward Ayana and raised his right hand. No, 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 even worse! Don't go after Ayana! No, no, don't do it! Ayana! I dashed toward Ayana, but Kumia, who was both closer and faster than me, got between the two way before I could. Please, please, no! The knife crashed into her back. And Komiya fell to the ground with a silent groan. Komiya, no, fuck! <laughs> oh my god, now she died to protect- Oh, what the fuck is going on? Ayana only shuddered, looking at the bleeding Komiya. Listen, you cannot forget this no matter what, Yasu. There will still come a time when you will need those memories. An image from my past. Oh fuck, it's actually flashing back to me. It, is it actually working? The fact that we, indeed, this is a trigger point, right? Murder. Ah, uh, to see someone dying. Now that we see it to Komiya, it's actually coming back to us? What? Komiya's actions resonated with something in my mind. The woman who told me those words also died by taking a knife for someone else. Sometime way into my past. Was she protecting me? It actually fucking did, but still, fuck you, dude. Itsuki, showing no remorse, gave me a satisfied grin. You know what? I need a little bit more. Can you just fucking stab yourself? I. I couldn't protect the promise in the end. 
I end up seeding the memories of my mother's death. And Ayana too. She wasn't at fault after all. Are you sure you're okay? You got stabbed in the fucking back, Ryo. Komiya uttered so through her ragged breathing. Her voice brought me back to reality. We... We have to treat this right now! Ayana's probably losing her shit right now too. And with that, Komiya lost consciousness. Oh no, Komiya! I couldn't leave her like this. But, I glanced at Ayane, but it didn't seem like her mind was with us, oh no. <laughs> what the hell do you want to know, Itsuki? What's your actual goal? I faced the blood covered Itsuki. What the fuck do you mean why your life turned out this way? You're just fucked up, okay? It's not my fault or anybody else's fault. What's that supposed to mean? So this is your revenge, huh? Your life is fucked up, we're somehow related to it, and you're just come to kill us all? Our families? Did he mean our parents? Why are you so obsessed with Ayana? How? It's the death of her parents, not your parents. What happened to you? Your parents are not the only one who are insane, dude. They went insane, even though they were outside? Were his parents in a similar situation as us? And his issue was why they went insane outside. In other words, not at the school? How is that supposed to be related to Ayana's parents? I mean... I don't see how that's related to Ayana or her parents. To silence your parents? Who told you that? The principal... How could he be sure he wasn't lied to then? In any case, I felt it was still too early to jump to conclusions. We couldn't forget it was the school that forced this situation on us. What exactly did they tell you? Tsuki gave me a cold look and let out a small sigh. <sighs> Okay. That sounds kind of fucked up. I mean, that's the, that's the bad thing about a medicine like this, right? It can just be abused. It can just be abused. Oh, these people know something we don't want them to know. Here, take the fucking medicine. Forget about it. What was wrong with your parents exactly? Not entirely satisfied with his obvious evasion of the subject, I began talking about what had flashed through my mind back then. I remembered something from my early childhood. There was this time when Ayane was trying to find out what her parents did. Her parents who were never at home. She would only receive, receive dolls with letters from them even on her birthdays, really? Fuck. They wouldn't even come home to the parent or come to the parents' day in school. What? Back then, I felt sorry for Ayana, empathizing with her wish to know more about her parents. And so I told her I would help her look for them. Like, I don't fucking understand that. Like, if you're not gonna be a parent to your child, why the fuck have a child in the first place, right? Unless they really. Like, it sounds like the parents of Ayana are scientists, right? 
unless they actually really only got a fucking child just so they could experiment on her. And if that's the fucking case, then fuck them as well. Like, what? Why? I, I just don't understand, you know? If you get kids, at least be a parent to your fucking child. So obviously, as kids, we didn't know where to go at all. As such, we started from turning her outside, or turning her house upside down, looking for clues. What did you find, Ayana? Ayana... She silently joined our conversation. I glanced at her, but her face was still a mask of dejection. Yeah, they were too far, but Ayana nonetheless decided to go. We went on foot, not even knowing the way, and asking passers-by for directions, who'd only tell us with patronizing smiles that it was a bit too far of us to go on our own. Nonetheless, we continued. And when the scenery changed to completely unfamiliar, Ayana finally broke down. Don't cry. Really? Just us as kids decided we found an address or something where we think her parents were working? And we just decided to fucking go there. <laughs> Saying that, she only squeezed her doll in one hand, and my own hand in the other. By the time the street lights lit up, I started getting myself worried. A woman addressed us from a car. But it turns out she was a pedophile. Normally, we would we should have refused an invitation from a stranger, yeah. I mean, I, I almost wanted to say, didn't you parents ever teach you not to go with strangers? But considering Ayana's fucking parents were never there to begin with, they probably never did. They never taught Ayana that. But the strength of Ayana's grip, squeezing my hand. Everything's gonna be okay. And the baseless words of the woman had an enticing effect on me that I could not fight off. <laughs> Itsuki calmly listened to us. Yeah, we only saw them for a few moments, but we did, and they took care to arrange our way back home too. A few days later, Ayana slowly stood up and took a step toward Itsuki. What did you do, Ayana? Ayana's lips curled up into a smile. Why are you smiling? She took Itsuki's hand that still had a knife in it. Oh no, please. I don't know what the fuck you're planning to do with, ni with the knife. But drop it. Just throw it away. Throw it in the fountain. Please don't stab anything. Please, Ayana. Please don't fucking do it. I'm begging you. She pointed the knife at her own throat. Please don't do it, Ayana. What the? Ayana, please no. <gasps> A sharp pain pierced my palm. The knife went not through her throat, but through my hand. Oh, shit. Uh, you cut my hand. Well, it's better than her throat. Ayana let out a scared gasp. <sighs> she grabbed my hand in confusion. Never ever do this again! You're fucking crazy! What the fuck is going on? I don't understand anymore. Why would she do that? Itsuki silently picked up the knife. Oh great, now the fucking other psychopath has it has the knife now. He had been told that it was Ayana's parents that were responsible for his parents' death. But they were killed by our childish curiosity and selfishness themselves. If what Itsuki heard had any truth in it, then his parents were most likely uh, most likely were erased by the same people for knowing too much. In which case... So are you satisfied now that you know about Ayana's parents? 
I feel he himself had doubts about the story he was told. And it was precisely that which he was trying to find out here. I just don't know exactly what the fuck is going on because I feel like they're sort of making leaps. Like they're skipping over certain parts. Like what exactly did we find out? Like Ayane just kind of brushed, brushes over things. Like just be more detailed. Like what did we find out when we saw them? Like or she said something like we found them out later, right? We, several days later, the thing happened. She said the thing or whatever, something happened. Like, what exactly happened? Why did Ayane kill them? Why did she just try, wanted to demonstrate on herself, apparently, how she killed them as well? Well, don't you feel like you've had enough of this already? There was no hint of peace on his face, or his eyes. Wait, your parents weren't killed? Huh? What? It seemed like he came to some sort of different conclusion. What? He raised his knife, his furious eyes fixed on Ayana. <laughs> Please no, don't stop her! Ayana! I jumped in front of her. I didn't care about anything as long as I could get her, her out of this alive. <laughs> However, instead of pain that I was bracing for, it was only Itsuki's gasp that ended up reaching me. Huh? I slowly raised my head. Itsuki was kneeling on the ground, the knife sticking from his abdomen. What? His hand was still on the handle. He... Was that... Komiya! She fucking stabbed him! Yes! Ryo! Komiya, whom I thought had lost consciousness, was up on her knees. Her wound must have still hurt like hell. She was grimacing. That's okay. That was a brilliant plan. Fake the fact that you passed out so that Itsuki doesn't worry about you anymore. And then at the moment of attack, you you strike him back when he doesn't see it coming. Brilliant plan, Ryo. A break? Just look at your wound, goddammit! Run? But... The, the... Komiya pushed her creepy plush toy bag into my hands before I had the time to retort. Your mother's address? What are you planning to do? Are you sure you're gonna be okay? What about Itsuki then? She's gonna finish him off, right? Okay, okay. Why? What? I will be our hope? I glanced at Ayana. Ayana suddenly gave a gasp. Do you also remember what the fuck you did to my hand? Yeah, today. Itsuki was looking at her with dubious eyes. Oh, that part. Right, right. Itsuki did? <laughs> Itsuki gave her a cold smile. Yeah, 
悪いことしようとしてるなら止めたいって I don't know Yeah We were looking for Itsuki with that in mind Ayana regarded Itsuki with begging eyes. I glanced at him, wondering how he took it. I mean, he just can't fucking be reasoned with, okay? This, this dude is solely driven by revenge. And it's the only thing that he sees right now, and it's the only thing he wants, and the only thing he listens to. He just wants fucking revenge. <sighs> Itsuki tried jumping on Ayana, even with that wound. It didn't seem like he was planning to let words settle this. Fuck this shit! Oh yeah! Time to get serious, bitch! I grabbed Ayana's hand and dashed in the opposite direction. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get out of here, Ayana! Take this! I shoved Komiya's bag into her hands before she could say anything. I squeezed her hand, finding the pain in my palm, and dashed to the gates, pulling her with me. If I let myself think now, I might stop. Don't think, just act, just fucking run. I understood that Komiya wasn't perfectly honest with us, but there's probably a reason for it, right? But the most important thing right now was to get Ayana out of this alive and meet Komiya's mother. We didn't know anything, but Komiya did. And with all sorts of things weighing my mental scales from one direction to the other, I just concentrated on everything that gave me the excuse to press onwards right now. I wish I could convince myself I wasn't abandoning her. But I knew that that most, li that most likely, we would never be seeing each other again. Oh god, Komiya! Komiya! Your sacrifice will not be in vain. <laughs> Itsuki fell to the ground completely with that sarcastic remark. This is so fucking weird, they both are stabbed. Both there with wounds, talking to each other. Like, Itsuki came here for revenge, right? For, apparently he thinks this is all about him. Like, his parents are involved in some weird shit, okay? Apparently, un inadvertently. They just happened to stumble onto something they weren't supposed to see. And that that's what caught uh, his family his parents and then including himself as well all in this mess right he just got caught up in it unwillingly but like uh, he somehow seems to think that it's all about him and that that's the reason his his life is so fucked up like yeah it might be but they didn't do it in purpose to him or whatever but still he feels the need to fucking get revenge to on everybody and then i guess Komiya's, at least mother, she is kind of behind everything, sort of, in a sense, right? She, she is the main doctor that sort of made that medicine that erases people's memories or suppresses them. Yeah, it kind of seems like they're on opposite sides, but kind of having somewhat a similar goal, in a sense. They both came here for a certain specific reason, kind of for, for Rio probably to... To maybe to make up for 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 all the damage that her her mother and the medicine have caused, and because she said so, right? She was sent here by her mother. Oh shit! I dropped something. But she said she was sent here by her mother to stop this. So I feel like she she was sent here to rectify things, whereas Itsuki just came here to fuck shit up basically, because he's just a mad teenager. I tried answering him with sarcasm myself. Itsuki let out a snort at my words, but that probably disturbed his wound, as his face instantly turned into a grimace of pain. 
So I guess th this is from um, Komiya's perspective. Yeah. Ayana and Yasunari were no longer here. It was too late for whatever Itsuki might have wanted. They're both like half dying. Yet all he gave me was an empty answer. I tried saying the first thing that came into my mind. He didn't answer right away. My wound would hurt when I spoke just the same. So I waited for his answer in silence. It sounded like me, like all you fucking needed, Suki, was a pill yourself. <laughs> Right? Just give Itsuki a pill as well just to remember, forget about everything that happened is him in his past so he has no reason to be angry or no reason to get revenge in the first place, right? I feel like that would have solved this entire fucking situation for the most part at least. At least I would have gotten rid of Itsuki's motives. Just just give him another just give him a pill as well. Just like ask Ryo's mother, can I get a pill too? I just wanna forget, please. <laughs> He wanted to be. He wanted to be a test subject. That would have solved everything, I'm telling you, I swear. He must have had a hard life as well. Anyone whose life was affected by that medicine, directly or indirectly, were robbed of a normal future. That's why we were erased like this. Still, I wasn't too far gone to acknowledge it was some sort of deranged salvation. I never felt I was the lucky one for forgetting my past. The memories might disappear, but the facts didn't. The truth would catch up with you sooner or later. The side effects of the medicine have proven that much. There was no way it could have brought happiness to anyone. And that's why I don't agree with this medicine's existence in the first place. Because yeah, you can erase it from a person's memories, but it doesn't erase the event from happening. Well, seems like you both got what you wanted then. See? Just a pill, man. One pill. One pill could have fucking solved this. Even though I'm against the existence of the pill in the first place, right? Like, if, if it's already fucking... If it already exists, might as well just get everybody on this fucking pill, right? Both brought a knife. Understanding what I was leading to, Itsuki made a hesitant face. What? What are they saying? Like, let's let's both kill each other. Rio, don't turn this into some dark double murder bullshit, okay? Please. <laughs> What? 
でもあなたが思い出を殺したいというのなら手伝ってもいいと思う物理的になってしまうけど What is your method, Rio? Maybe I still had a chance if I tried to escape right now. But I felt like indulging Itsuki right here was part of my responsibility. After all, I was the only one who could help him now. I'm sure my mother would not blame me for making this decision. You understand, I left everything in Yasunari's hands. So it seems like everything that was in the bag or whatever, right? She also said that Yasu was, was the only hope or something, you know? Kind of like the last fucking Jedi who's alive. It's the only hope. But like, there, there seems to be a greater picture, a greater goal in mind that I just don't understand yet. But I guess it'll be explained once we get to uh, Ryo's mother. The fuck are you guys gonna do? Itsuki slowly readied his knife. Are they really just gonna kill themselves, both, or what? I was still in a better shape, comparatively, so I crawled up to him. Or is she like convincing Itsuki for him to stab himself? I mean, I said it twice as well. Kind of jokingly, because back, well, I say kind of, because back then, you know, he had, he wanted to stab someone, and if he was gonna stab someone, I would say, just rather stab yourself, you know? Don't stab Ayane, please don't do that. But in this situation, I don't fucking know, like, both are kind of harmless, right? In this situation, he is not aggressive, he's not attacking anybody. So in this situation, I'd be like, dude, don't, don't do it, don't stab yourself. Daza. And that, that is one thing, like, I, I feel like I kind of understand everything for the most part about, like, what's kind of been happening with the, the medicine, you know, the people's memories being erased, blah, blah, blah. But what about this place? What about this place? Like, something feels strange, weird about this place, right? Time stood still, um, just, this, it, it's, it's like the exact replica of the school, but... Where are the other students? Why did we get like did we get teleported? What what is this? Is this a different world? What the fuck is I don't know, just this this place. There is something with it, but it's not explained at all. But maybe it'll get into it now. Curse Not answering his joke, I just concentrated my aim at his temple. I pray that all of this will end with us. The fuck? 